to find a system with Earth at the center. For 1,500 years, Ptolemy's system was used as the basis of astronomy and calendars, and it worked quite well. Copernicus hated that, and Copernicus set about to undo Ptolemy's greatest discovery. While working at the request of Pope Leo X on improvements to the Julian calendar, Copernicus conceived what turned out to be the foundational idea of modernity itself, the idea that the Earth moved. Not all were persuaded by Copernicus, however. The greatest astronomer of the time, Tycho Brahe, developed a new geocentric model. The Earth occupies the center, the planets orbit the sun, and the sun orbits the Earth. They basically stole our minds and enslaved us by showing us a picture of a ball. So here's what you live on, it's a ball. And then they show us a different picture of a ball. Here's a different picture of a ball. And everyone's just like, yeah, that's the same place. It doesn't matter if the colors of the continents change. It doesn't matter if the color of the oceans change. It doesn't matter if the continents change sizes, change locations. Tycho hired a young assistant named Johannes Kepler in 1600. Kepler, working on his own development of the Copernican system, needed Tycho's observations, but Tycho refused to part with them. When Tycho died suddenly and mysteriously in 1601, Kepler took charge of Tycho's observations and used them to develop his own system. In Kepler's system, the sun is in the center while the planets move on ellipses, non-uniformly. The ellipse, with its two foci, allows us to see that Ptolemy's epicycles and equant were actually a brilliant attempt to express non-uniform motion centuries before Kepler. Indeed, once the concept of non-uniform motion is introduced, all of these systems can be shown to be geometrically identical. Copernicus was the main guy who started off the revolution. His book on the revolutions of the celestial spheres changed, you know, thousands of years of thinking about the Earth being completely still, as you can experience it for yourself every single day of your life, and the, obviously the bodies move, move in the heavens above us. That's what your senses experience. Copernicus changed all that around, but he didn't use any science. There's no science in his book. He got his ideas from the Hermetica, from Hermes Trismegistus. And it basically says how the sun sits enthroned in the middle of the uh, in the middle of the solar system, and we all orbit around it. What's that sound like to you? That sounds like sun worship. It sounds like sun cult to me. Because later on, I'm going to show you. Hoyle, uh, Fred Hoyle was another astronomer. Well, he said there's no difference in, in the mathematics, whether it's geocentric or helio. So, whether the sun moves around the earth, or the earth moves around the sun, the mass works the same exactly the way. The connections between just just from, just from the imaging. Yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be, um, you know, uh, have a portrait done with a big 33 on it or, or a triangle with an eye or anything like that. I wouldn't want to be connected or associated with any of that stuff because, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm working for the other side. Um, so, but Copernicus obviously had no problem with the square, with the square and compass, yeah, um, with the big wheel here, we've got the big sun wheel and we've got the Mercury sign as well. Yeah, all leads back again. I'll, you know, you, you can you can um, investigate that more for yourself. The Book of Thoth by Alistair Crowley, Freemasonry with the sun over the head. Yeah, as above, so below. Yeah, and um, one of the reasons why Mercury, because it can rise in the morning and the night, so it's also hermaphroditic. Uh, both sexes, which is obviously is Baphomet as well, which we know as the the, the breasts and the penis. It goes on and on and on. It's all about cult sun worship. You can trace it back to Babylon. You can see all the different gods going through it, but there is no science to Copernicus's um, on the revolutions of the spheres. Uh, it's, it's a philosophical trap, and it's all based on the Hermetic.